What's going on guys? It's Noah just checking in. For all my new subscribers who aren't aware of what I'm doing on every Sunday, I'm just weighing in and I'm talking about how my new diet's going. Basically the new diet's just eating clean and I'm weighing in because I've been losing weight and just wanted to show the progression. Uh, late August, I tiptoed to almost 250 pounds. Of course, I'm still battling with depression and anxiety and I really felt bad about how I've been using food. So that's kind of why I started doing this. Uh, we are now like seven weeks in and it's going well. It's going really well. Last week we weighed in at 228.3. We were down two pounds for last week, so I was really happy about that. I'm shooting for about two pounds a week, and I have no doubt um, that I'm going to be down probably around two pounds again. I'm really getting used to this. I'm starting to learn how to execute. The mood is coming along a little slower, but we'll talk about that. Let's just go ahead and get the weigh-in done, see how we're doing, and then let's do the posing. All right, bravo me. It's good to reward yourself or feel positive about doing the right thing. So I'm glad for that. We're down another two pounds. Um, we'll go ahead and start posing and we'll talk about how the week went. And I really appreciate you guys being here and supporting me. I have no doubt that knowing I have to weigh in uh, every Sunday for whomever wants to, to touch base with me is definitely a good accountability tool. And I don't take that for granted. So thanks, guys. You see what this is, guys? You see what this is? This is sweat. This is straight up sweat from flexing, the, the posing that you're watching right now. Shit wipes me out. And I want you guys to know that I did it in a different setting. I was realizing that having like a top light was showing more definition, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and see if that works, see if you guys like that better for like seeing the progression. I was doing it before on my GoPro in front of, basically in front of a giant open window where tons of natural light, but I feel like it was just flattening out my body and I feel like I, I've developed some definition. I wanted to show that anyway. Thank you so much for joining me for this weekly weigh-in. Like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, this has become an incredibly uh, useful part of my week. It really does gear me week to week to try to reach my goals, to control what I can with my eating, to continue to pursue mental wellness through my diet and exercise, among other things. So I just really appreciate you. I want you to know that. I don't take you for granted. Um, this is a pretty cool thing for me. So anyway, another week, the weight went off. I, I really do feel like I've figured out how to do that consistently, you know, how to bring off about a pound and a half to two pounds a week. So we're down another two pounds. I think this officially means we're down 20 pounds now, uh, just about, maybe like a point two shy or something like that. So I'm 20 pounds down. I kind of consider this the halfway point. I think, I think I have another 20 to lose. I could be wrong there and I'm willing to adjust that, but I think I have another 20 to lose. But I don't really want to talk about my weight loss this week. As you guys can see through the posing, um, it, it seems to be going well. You know, I am trying to hold on to as much muscle as I can. I think my meal timing, I think my uh, deficit for calories is decent. I think I'm staying anabolic most of the time. And, um, and I'm getting in enough protein. I did that full day of eating. I released it yesterday and a lot of you gave me a lot of positive feedback. So I appreciate that. You know, I, I don't know if you've noticed some of you follow the channel really closely, other pick and choose when you want to watch and either way, I'm so grateful, but I've been trying to expand the channel because I was getting a little bit burnt out on just talking about TRT and mood disorders. You know, I was just like, man, like, I, I don't want to just be a talking head for those things, even though they are the most important things to me. I wanted to bring you guys in for other parts of my life and so far you guys have received it well and it certainly makes me more engaged and more interested in the videos again because I was getting just a little bit pooped out. But anyway, uh, the weight loss went well like I said, but the mood has not been going well this week. You know, I've had what I would consider to be my third major lapse in mood since I started this new diet. The diet of course being vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, roots, lean meats, complex carbohydrates, stuff like that. Um, you know, I, the whole reason I started was because I, I want to get stable. It's been my dream since I had my mental breakdown and, and I went through my severe clinical depression and anxiety, depersonalization. My dream has been to be stable, mentally stable, and, uh, and I've had some adjustments as to what that would mean for me, but the whole reason I, I elected to just really take my eating uh, to a new level and just take that more seriously was because my mood has really been struggling. Anyway, I, I know more than ever that I just have to focus on the day that's in front of me. It's something I say on this channel one day, one hour, one minute at a time. And it's important to take my own advice because I get lost in the future. I start future tripping. And so when I have bad weeks, mood wise, like I had this week, I start doing that whole oh, man. I can't imagine doing this forever. You know, I can't imagine doing this forever. And I know that's my depression talking. Um, and I'm trying really hard, especially in these videos, to, to let my personality shine through because I think there's like this other part of me that just, man, I kind of just want to tuck away and hide and, um, and not 
not even try to push through the fog, not even try to push through the depression, kind of just hole up because I'm so bitter and I take it so personal. But um, as I've done many, many times before, I will push through and I will just keep doing what's was right in front of me and the next best thing. And we're gonna keep trying with this with this diet. I did have the pleasure this last week of meeting with a naturopath. Uh, the only bad thing about meeting with her is that she wants to do this whole new type of blood testing for food sensitivities and a couple other things. But it's different than the one I've already done and it requires me for two to three days prior to the blood draw. She really wants me to go ahead and eat a lot of those foods that I've been completely cutting out. So processed foods, um, lots of dairy, lots of gluten, stuff like that. So I'm like, this weird little fat kid in me is like super excited to have a couple days prior to the 23rd, I think is when I get my blood draw to just go crazy. This other part of me is like, easy does it Noah because um, I've been sensitive right now. You know, I'm not gonna go deep, deep into how rough this week was mood wise, but let's just say my anxiety and depression really spiked harder than it has in a few weeks and it's just discouraging. Uh, strength wise though in the gym that's been going really well I did a video with my brother I released it this last week for gym therapy this week and uh, 405 was moving really really well in the squat so I was really happy about that I just want to thank you guys for your time it was a hard week I have a lot of faith that if I keep going and keep keep tweaking keep focusing that um, you know it can get better this also was like my last straw uh, effort to try to do something natural within my control before possibly going on antidepressants and I have to admit if I have too many more weeks like this I'm not sure I'll be able to hold out but um, but I'm gonna stay brave and that's what I believe it is you have to stay brave when when you have these setbacks and long-term depression issues like I do and like a lot of us have and otherwise I'll keep chipping away at this uh, micronutrient whole food diet keep trying to try and I appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys in the next weekly way. And let me know what you want me to add, what you don't need me to talk about. And let me know if you like this new camera. I'm using the T3i today uh, with more of a straight on, just top lighting, artificial lighting, instead of using the outside light. And I hope you guys are doing well. There's a handful of you that have said you are going to start or you have already started your personal goal, your personal journey to eat better and feel better. And listen, if you're not controlling the things you can, but you feel like you do anything to get better, then you're not doing everything you can to get better. And it's hard. And I understand apathy and depression and anxiety can make it hard to move and hard to function, but, but we have to keep trying. And so that's what I'm doing. And uh, I hope you are too. And we're all in this together. All right, guys, take good care and thank you for your time.